Well, from bad boys to Muslims, a growing number of rap artists are leaving the bad boy hip-hop lifestyle for a more spiritual one. The Canadian Dow Association rather, says an increasing number of rappers this year embraced Islam or acknowledged they previously embraced Islam. Among the names, Buster Rhymes, Loon, Napoleon, Castro and Raekwon. Well, Amir Junaid Muhaddith, better known by his stage name Loon, is one artist hoping to change the lyrics and message of rap following his own religious conversion. Well, Loon was uh, part of P. Diddy's Bad Boy Records. He accepted Islam in 2008 on a tour in Dubai. He joins me now from Saudi Arabia, where he's just finished performing an Umrah or minor religious pilgrimage. Thanks so much for joining us. You kind of look a little bit different to me today than how we've been seeing you in those <laughs> pop videos. Is Loon still in there somewhere? <laughs> no. Nah. Loon is uh, working his way out of my system, you know. <laughs> Just happy to be, you know, accepting Islam and finding the peace of mind that I was always searching for in the music business. And it was very difficult to find this uh, place in my life now, but um, thanks to Islam, I've been able to, you know, complete my search and now I'm very much at peace. So you're, I take it you're no longer a bad boy? No, bad boy days are over. Now I'm what you call a good boy. All right, I want to, I want to, uh, forgive me for taking our viewers back to a little bit of the bad boy loon days. I want to just play a, a piece of your uh, music here just to refresh everyone's memory of how loon used to look like. You would have met a lot of women in my lifetime, but see, it's not a lot of women that got the right mind. I done had pretty chicks with all the right features and hood rat chicks that only rock sneakers, cell phones and beepers and know how to treat you. You break a hard shit, walk out and leave you. I find a girl I'm a keeper, because now I'm getting money and the game getting deeper. You want some real Well, I guess the question now is, uh, will you continue to rap? Well, right now I'm very much focusing on, you know, studying Islam and becoming more knowledgeable of the deen because, you know, being in a position of influence, you know, I have to be able to, you know, protect myself in ways, you know, the media sometimes, you know, try to use these transitions that artists make and try to make it, you know, saying an opportunity to make a mockery of Islam or whatever faith a person might choose. So I'm, you know, very much an advocate of trying to study the deen and become more knowledgeable of Islam. And, right. you know, Allah knows best. So maybe in, I, in know, addition, term, maybe I won't. Yeah, in addition to studying your new religion, uh, I understand you're also working with another group of uh, rap artists to try and change the message of rap itself. Uh, is that possible? I mean, rap hails from the hardened neighborhoods of the West. The lyrics sometimes attack, threaten, insult others. Can rap be rap without all of that? Well, that's, that's something I think all of us as artists who, um, you know, saying accepted Islam are struggling with because of the very, very fine line, you know what I'm saying? With me, I actually really love the music, but it's the lifestyle that, that, that's really the um, bad influence, you know? The music sometimes can be geared towards things that influence people to do positive things, but the actual, you know, part that um, detours people from, you know, practicing their faith or concentrating on positive things is really the lifestyle. All right, I, I, I've got to ask you this one now. I want you to give us the first post-Islamic conversion rap of Loon live here in Al Jazeera. <laughs> oh man, you catch me on guard now, because I really, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm so, I'm veered away from that lifestyle for a second. I Come just on, just very... a sentence or two. I know there's still a bit of loon in there somewhere. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, for the most part, uh, let me see. You got me there, man. You got me there. You got me there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll give you a minute to think about that. Maybe we'll come back to it. But uh, Yeah, we'll come back to that. We'll rap come back rap to that. was, you know, seen in many parts of the world, particularly this part of the world, as a really Western cultural product, a threat to local uh, cultures. Could it become something of an instrument for introducing Eastern culture back to the West if many of you guys are, are adopting Islam? Well, what I think is the most, like, the mass um, audience that we reach as artists, uh, particularly in the club, so to, you know, have people in the club actually reciting ayats or things that, you know, pertain to Islam, but kind of, you know, 
give the wrong impression. I think that, you know, spoken word is something I've been focusing on trying to, you know, make a transformation to doing spoken word because I, I do have the lyrical ability to establish a lot of strong things that make Islam so beautiful. But it's very hard to walk that fine line when you have music in the background that kind of, you know, either plays its role as a uh, dance rhythm or something that might, you know, mislead a person from the message that we're trying to give. So, you know, like I said, there's a lot of artists that's in the position that I am, and we're trying to, you know, find that fine line without offending anyone or causing any harm to anyone who might be influenced by the negative aspect of music. And we're just trying to really focus on, you know, walking that fine line and being able to be a benefit to those who like music versus being a contributor to the negative side. All right, I'm gonna, we're, we're running short on time, but we have still got about a minute left, so I'm going to come back to my question. A any ideas come to mind now for that uh, live rap for us before we go? Oh, man. Man, you put me on this spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, like I said, I haven't really prepared myself for that aspect. I was really thinking of, you know, trying to be more of an uh, influence of telling people that, you know, it's such a beautiful um, conversion to accept Islam and I haven't really entertained incorporating music into this transition yet. Like I said, I've been just trying to focus on being very knowledgeable of the Dean and, you know, focus on, right. you, know, you know, all the beautiful things that's taken place in my life these past seven months I've accepted Islam. And a lot of sacrifices that I've made to move away from that lifestyle, Allah has definitely blessed me with a beautiful replacement. And I'm just so, like, grateful to have that working in my life right now. All right, I just thanks. really haven't been geared to it. We're out of time. Thanks so much for talking to us. Loon, who was internationally known on the microphone and thought all he needed was a <laughs> wife at home, now discovers wow. he needs to enter the religion zone. How's that for a bit of a wrap there? Obviously, I should stick to a Korean tone. Man, you better than me. You better than me, man. <laughs> <laughs>